guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some E4 and today we're going to be starting a new campaign. Uh, as promised, this was voted by you guys in my community tab over on my YouTube channel. We're going to be playing Byzantium, going for the Basilius Achievement. Um, the Basilius Achievement wasn't something explicitly voted for, but it's definitely something that, you know, seems natural playing as the Purple Phoenix. So that's going to be the goal of the campaign and I'm thinking probably reform the Roman Empire, but we'll see. We will see. Uh, definitely I want to know what your feedback is, and uh, before we get too into it, uh, there's a couple of things that I need to talk about regarding the campaign. Um, we're going to do a similar thing that we did with uh, the Dutch campaign. So the Dutch campaign is going to graduate down to once a day, and um, I would like this campaign to be at least once a day. And for it to be once a day, I need to make sure that there's support on it. So as long as we're getting 150 likes per video, and within... You know, something reasonable, like, you know, eight hours. Let's we'll say 150 likes within eight hours. We will continue with the daily uploads. Otherwise, it will fall back down to every other day. And that way, I know that, um, you know, because the, the Dutch campaign is still doing very well. And so if that's the preferred campaign, I want to upload more of that. So that way, you guys are getting what you want to see. Um, and also, before we get into it, I have a buddy of mine who's in my community Discord He's a great dude. He's another YouTuber. His name is Quagersol, and I'm going to link him down in the description. I want you guys to check him out. If you like what I do, you will like what he does. He's much better at you for than I am, so I can recommend it for sure. He's a good dude. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. So we're going to play as Byzantium. We're going to start on an Iron Man, and uh, we're going to go ahead and do Basilius. And uh, if you see any cuts... Um, in this beginning section, it's because I had to restart and I don't want to record this intro a million times. So let's get into it for this one. Initially, I'm going to get these guys over into a Chia or Akia or however you pronounce that. Get rid of this castle. We're going to boost that up. That way we can give it to the Burgos. We are going to get an Admiral. We are going to take the Dipple points. We are going to get a General. We are going to call a Diet and we will get the mill points. Our Admiral is quite good. General is not so good, but with those points, we can get... Uh, well, let's go ahead and see what these guys are like. Um, I don't know. The maneuver is the big thing. That's um, that's honestly the key for me. Uh, day one, you want to improve with these guys, improve with these guys, and build some spy network in these guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. It doesn't matter who you vassalize, in my experience. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Let me take a sip of my tea here. Got some tea just in case my throat starts acting up. Ah, ah, ah. Very good. Okay, and so, as those guys are transforming, transporting over there, we're going to get rid of all that. We're going to end up needing to take a couple of loans, which is certainly expected early on. We are just going to um, max out the amount of manpower that we can put into the field right about now. So we're going to get that there and that there. And that is month one. So, has he allied anybody? He allied Crimea. Okay. So this is the tougher of our options <clears throat> as far as it comes to, you know, opening RNG. So, since our first month tick is done, we are going to come over here. And we are going to proclaim a guarantee on Albania. And then at the beginning of next month, we will go back to improving relations with him. Empire runs on paper indeed. Very good. So this guy here, and I can explain my opening strategy. We are going with the coveted, beautiful, popular Budget Monk um, tutorial where he, it's basically a very structured, very concise way to beat the Ottomans, take out, you know, 200 ducats in debt, and that's it and get all of your cores, your day one cores back, as well as maybe a little bit of monetary compensation, but it's gonna depend. There's a lot of RNG that goes into it, and so um, I anticipate a bit of restart. So let's go ahead and get you guys protecting trade so we can get a little bit of a better view as to what's going on over here. So I don't see, okay, so those five, the five stack is actually heading over here. So for those of you who don't know, they start with a five stack right here, and oftentimes he'll march over there, <laughs> But it's not 100%. And these two forts are both completely mothballed. Hence why we're building up the spy network. 
Um, so we can siege down the other stuff quicker. Gives you better siege ability. So that's what we're going for there. Um, and we are going to be getting as many men into the field as we can. We're definitely going over our force limit. But we only have one loan in debt right now. And uh, it certainly is going to go up. But we'll see. The goal is to make it the least amount possible. So these guys are going to come out after the first of the month. So what we want to do, turn that up. And this is a little bit of a cheeky exploit. It's not cheaty, but it's like a, just kind of a way to get around a sort of annoying game mechanic. Get these guys over here. Go ahead and get these guys over here. It is getting close, getting close to that time. We have one more troop raising in Athens. Go, yeah, raise that up. Let them recruit with full morale. And uh, I think it's actually about that time that we have our maintenance turned on. And then in the month of next month, we can get our alliance with him. Let's go up to speed four here. And you can see these forts are still mothballed. Forts are still mothballed. So let's have this guy come on down here. Give us a better idea as to what's going on over there. We can now ally Albania. And we will. Very good. We're going to need this diplomat available. So he still has the five stack there. And these guys are not drilling. Okay. Get you guys both over here. And uh, this is the critical time. So here's where I'm going to do the save. And um, let's see here. I'm going to take a quick save. And I'm going to back it up. Just in case. Because this is where things get get a little bit funky. All right, so we are ready to declare war. And just make sure all of my stuff is sorted out correctly. It's unfortunate that he's allied to Crimea, but it shouldn't be an issue. Let's go ahead and get this guy over here. This guy over here. And uh, let's unpause. We'll see where things go. Uh, generally, they will suicide a navy in, which will like block the straits, but it looks like we're going to be A-OK. -okay. So let's go ahead and turn on this defensiveness edict. Get you guys up there. Very good. They will get there before the end of the month. So that is phase one of the mission accomplished. Phase two is piecing out Crimea. Now the ideal is that he just sits here with his 30,000 troops and just sits there. And just lets them rot. Um, I don't think he'll get there before... I finished the siege. Six days, he'll get there. Okay, yeah, we're good, they're safe. Let's go ahead and get these guys over here. So those guys are dead. There's nothing I can do about that. We're just gonna let that happen. This siege will be done here. Very good, let's get my boats in, my boats. I will attach, um, not everybody, I will attach Yep, all infantry. We're going to make our way up there. We're going to have you guys um, immediately... Eh, well, I guess Adarin isn't necessarily a priority. So let's go ahead and siege down as much of Greece as we can. Or Bulgaria and Greece. That region, you know what I'm saying. Now, I do need to be careful that I don't run into too much naval resistance. Ideally, he's going to send his men back into Crimea, dock them up. Not a big deal if they don't. Hmm. I need Skanderbeg's navy. So Athens is going into suicide. Might as well jump in. Hopefully, Hano Man doesn't be isn't going to be sending in his uh, his navy to reinforce. This one should be an easy win for us. Very good. It certainly is. Certainly is. Oh, 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 mm, beautiful. Chance to capture enemy ships as well. Very nice. So, we're gonna send you guys into Crimea. So far, so good. Um, let's try to not lose any men if we can avoid it. And let's start murking up a bit over here on this side. Okay. 
Let's get all you guys grouped up over here. Scanner Bag will join in. These guys will be landed pretty soon. It's unfortunate I didn't put a leader on that army, but it's not a big deal. Shouldn't be an issue. Um, so far, so good. And when we peace out Crimea, we're going to have a lot more war score than we do right now. So, yes, this is doing that annoying zone of control thing where I can't march out of there. So let's just have you guys, like, right here. Hello. For some reason, I can't change their movement order because they're locked in and it's doing that weird thing. All right, very good. Ooh, okay. Luckily for us, they're making literally no progress on um, Constantinople, which is ideal, honestly. I need to keep my navy up there for a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to break their siege if I can avoid it. We want to keep them on Constantinople. Um, because they're losing a lot of manpower. They're getting very little progress. Very good. Status quo is good. So, these guys are going to start making their way over. Sieging down Crimea. This is the goal. And we'll be able to piece Crimea out in a timely manner. That will get rid of, you know, 11,000 troops in the field. I don't know where they are, but they're around somewhere. Okay. Let's have you guys not attack that army. I think he's intimidated right now. I think that's the issue. He doesn't want to look for a fight that he can't win. Hmm. Maybe... He's not locked in. Nah, he's locked in. Unfortunate. Okay, well that should be a f just a stack wipe for him. Hopefully they don't move off the capital. I just want them to stay focused, laser focused on Constantinople. And I need a reinforcement tick, unfortunately. Alright, so let's get you guys down here. Start sieging down to Darren. He got a wall breach, like they do. Get you guys down here. We're doing quite good right now. Okay, let's get you guys over onto Sugla. Hmm. This is not good. Hopefully he lets me siege him down. Looks like he's going to beeline it towards uh, Bulgaria, which is optimal, to say the least. Okay. Knights have raided Constantinople because they're shite heads. Get these guys over here. All right. Now, Crimea will more than likely peace out this month. Good. Let's just white piece them. I don't care what I get from them. Get these guys grouped up, like, you know, over here. Something close. Get them loaded up. He's up to 28%. Man. Okay, we might end up needing to fight him. I think if I can fight, if I can get in there, boat bomb with these guys, sally out the fort, that's 3k. I think we can probably win. I think we can. I'm confident when we can. Um, he's only at negative 28%, so we have plenty of time to... Uh, we have a two siege general as well. This is going well. This is going very well, actually. If he wants to siege down this stuff, that's fine. Skanderbeg's got rebels, so hopefully... Well, I guess it's it'd be a good thing if he peaced out, honestly. So... Have all these guys group up. The more men, the better. We're going to need as many men as we can get. So let's get you on there. 10th of May. Okay. Loans are looking okay. Are we getting subsidies? Or not? Come on, Mamlux. I'm a good guy. So we've got these guys. So they will be there on the 10th of June. So I'm going to time it up. So these guys land on the get there on the 10th of June as well. 10th of June. 10th of June. Well, if they're going to be a naval fight... It'll be pushed back a little bit. Please go sit on Selenik. That'd be great. Hopefully they don't win a 7% siege. That would be less than ideal. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. 
Um, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Don't, don't, no, no, no. Oh, shoot. That's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Okay. Um. Okay, we're winning. Woo. Superior morale and all that. Jeez, oh, Pete, that was bad. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Um. Let's uh, take out a few more loans. Get some guys over here. Gosh, that was scary. Okay. Um, so now we just need to win the Siege of Adairn. We're not going to... Okay, let's see if we can catch out some of his boats. So this is his galley fleet, so I'm actually in trouble here. I need to flee as soon as I can. Fifth of August. Hopefully we don't lose anybody. We did not. We're good. Need to be more careful than that. In a perfect world, we would um, we would have had Biga and we could have stack wiped him right there, but that's okay too. That is okay too. Um, go ahead and take out one more loan, build up some manpower units over here, and we can use those guys to further get involved in the fights. Yes, for now, it's looking pretty good for us. So this is the truce, the piece we're looking for. 56 war score. If we take a Darren, we get that. Easy, I'm pretty sure. I'm convinced, it's easy. Um, this first episode is more than, hey, there we go. This first first episode is likely gonna be very long. Uh, and that's just kind of the nature of it. I am trying to make sure that I accomplish as many goals as I possibly can in the time that I have. So in the time of this war, I want to, I have 32 troop. 32 boats in there. What the heck? I definitely don't feel confident blockading that, that's for sure. All right, yeah, unfortunately. Um, so that is his... So his 16 fleet is heading to the Ionian. All right, very good. So we can actually get a good fight here. I might lose some boats. Come on now. But uh, they're locked in, so let's go ahead and do this. Mm. Damn it. Okay. Uh, was, that's not ideal. Ah, man. I don't know if I'm ever going to win this siege, man. <laughs> Ay, uh, caramba. Come on now. Yep, those guys are dead now, too. They just have this 20,000 men just running around over there. Let's go ahead and see if we can stack wipe that two stack. Catch them out. They're going to reinforce. Yep, no chance. Feels bad, man. And I'm stuck in this fight and I can't get out. Oh my god, that makes me so mad. They literally catch me by one day. So unfortunate. Okay. Let's go up to speed four. Let's go ahead and um, siege us down. Let's see if we can get this siege, honestly. If we can get this siege, we win. As long as he doesn't send his men over. Um, yeah, I think we're okay. Hopefully we win this siege before he wins that siege. That would be quite annoying. How does he have such good siege ability? Dang, man. Yeah, even with 40 worth 40 um spy network we're still not sieging that quickly for him okay um, our navy is is dead there's nothing we can do about it he's got this five stack over here they need to be careful of okay they broke their siege off for some reason That's really good hopefully it's not to come over here and take that straight crossing okay they restarted it Let's see here. Today may be my day. I'm just going to follow these guys around. They're going to take the war goal back. Nope, no, they're not. Feels good, man. Feels good. All right, cool. We are doing well. We are doing well. They're being a little wonky with their movements. Come on, baby. Give me that 28%. Excuse me. Could use more soldiers. That is true. I don't care about money. Money is just a number. 
Right now it is, at least. Okay, let's get you guys over here in the mountains, just in case they want to attack. Okay. Come on now. Is that a status quo? Water shortage. But they didn't get a progress. Progression tick. Okay, so they're landing a lot of men over here now. I need to... Wait, what? Oh, they're landing men. Sheesh. Okay, well... Go ahead and uh, take out that one stack there. That's the war goal, so we're going to need that. Um, don't care about the money. Please let me win it. I won a Dern. I won that. Okay. He still has high war enthusiasm for... For some reason. I literally have no idea how that could be a thing, but it is a thing. So let's go ahead and kill some of his men then. There we go. Let those guys kill themselves. Oh, they won Coachelli? How? I don't believe that for a second. Not for a second. Okay. Let's go ahead and have you guys... Oh, they're fleeing over there. Oh, well, that's easy. Easy stack wipe. Feels good, man. They can get on to that if they want. So they're on medium enthusiasm. So we can now get our piece. I'm not going to give Albania anything because... You know, they can schlub the knob. We'll take as much money as I can in the piece. And the Phoenix rises. That's that's it. That's it in a nutshell. That's the opening move. Alright, cool. So, do we need to buy this down? I don't reckon we do. I do need to state this stuff up for monies. We're going to immediately turn the army off. We are immediately going to disband any mercs we have, which we have none. What is our army comp? Eight and two? It's alright. Alright. Cool. All right. Well, that's episode one in the books. A successful opening for the Basilius game. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to show your support. Leave a like. 150 a day. We keep it daily. Otherwise, we'll drop down to buy daily and go back up to twice daily for the Dutch. I want to know what you guys want. So if you're liking it, show me you like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out Quagrasol. Links in the description. And if you want to join our Discord, we have community multiplayers as well as official multiplayers that are happening every week. They're going to be orchestrated through the Discord, so join the Discord if you want. Um, and if you'd like to support what I do, if you enjoyed this and you want to support me, I have a Patreon. Links also in the description. And with all that, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Special thanks to Bloodbound92, Yadaldo, Jaron Clampett, CWG Dutch Terror, Valentel, Corbett Gaming, Palmer, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Uncle Donald, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig. You guys rock. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys later.